Katie Hunter, Kings TV. Igor, um, first of all, just the first half versus second half. I know that, you know, the the culmination of, of um, the Wizards coming back in the third quarter kind of led to, to Luke's frustration and the fouls. Can you just replay kind of what was going on in that situation and what he was angry about? Well, um, you know, I, it was always that there was <clears> – <throat> the first half was probably one of the best halves that we played this year, you know. Uh, I'm not saying that everything was easy, everything was going too easy for us, but uh, I think offensively that we had a ball movement, a body movement, we play unselfishly, we play connected, and uh, defensively I think we'd, uh, we followed a game plan. So uh, we also at the halftime, Coach Walton was talking about uh, that we can, it's a 48 minutes game, and we have to sustain, we have to, we have to sustain on that level. We also knew that uh, Wizards are not a team uh, uh, that they can, uh, they're better than what I showed in the first half. So uh, obviously, uh, the way we started third quarter wasn't wasn't good. Uh, uh, it's it's something that it's uh, Coach Walton also talks about a, <clears throat> a lot about a, a growth for this young group and understanding that it's, uh, 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 that we have to stick together. We have to have that mental toughness as a group, as a team, and uh, and uh, again sustain with a game plan and. Uh, and I think we came too soft, you know, in the, in the third quarter. And we lost that momentum. But also we, we have to be proud of the guys that it wasn't easy just losing that momentum, having such a bad third quarter to fight back, get momentum back, and uh, find a way to win. So, you know, it just it's, it seems like it was a really long game. Long game. It was very good first quarter. I mean, first half. Uh, uh, really, really, we showed a... a, a some inconsistency in, in, the, in, in the third quarter and, and again, find a great to, to finish the game. Uh, we, should, we should just be uh, happy and pleased that we won the game. And learning, it's easier to learn when you're winning games. So uh, that's, that's we should definitely be pleased. And we can learn a lot. Definitely watching film tomorrow, we can, we can share with each other in a small group, a lot of teaching points. Despite the physicality that the Wizards came out with in the third quarter, it seemed like there was a point where De'Aaron Fox was like, okay, I have to I have to stop this run. I have to kind of take over. Scores two straight possessions in the paint. How important is it for him in terms of his growth and the growth for you guys to have him have the capability to put a stop to runs and move you guys in the in the right direction? We shouldn't forget how, you know, DeAndre Fox, I mean, he is he's uh, he's a head of the snake and uh, but super young guy. And this is uh, this kind of games are uh, growth uh, uh, moments and, and the time for him to take that ownership and leadership with this group. I think he feels it. He felt it tonight. And uh, you just mentioned those two possessions where he felt that we were too passive. Our offense was too much side to side. And uh, he took that, uh, that leadership, uh, he, the voice that we needed at the moment. And again, that's something that we're going to need more and more from, from uh, Fox. Coach, you, um, I'm sorry, Tony Harvey, Sacramento Observer. Uh, after uh, De'Aaron picked up his fourth foul, he's heading to the bench and you said some things. Would you mind sharing what you just trying to calm him down? I understand that, but you mind sharing what you was, a little discussion that you had? Yeah, no you? secrets. In terms of the <clears throat> stay together, we have to uh, keep composure. Uh, we needed his voice on, on the bench, on the court, the leadership and voice that we, the team needed. And we should focus on, on our team, our possessions offensively, defensively. Uh, don't even mention, don't even talk about referees and then one possession at a time. So he, we needed a leadership from, from Fox and he was, he was very calm and uh, he understood the moment and he was great. Igor, James Ham, NBC Sports. Um, have you ever been part of a game like that where you've seen the swing happen so huge one way and then back the other way and then to have your team pull it out? Yeah, I've been in the league for 20 years, but I can't remember, you know, like being up 30 and then losing quarter by 30. I can't, to be quite honest, I can't remember, but we're going to remember this game. And I'm glad we're going to remember it as, as somebody, as a game that we, uh, a lot of ups and upside and downs, but, you know, at the end we won a game. That we're going to remember that. You talked about the teaching points what do you say to a team that goes through this? Because it does seem like a habit of this team to let other teams back in the game. Well, we, we, I think we changed the way we played in terms of the aggressiveness. And uh, we had a 20 and uh, 20 times we broke the paint in the first quarter, 22 times in the second quarter, only 13 times in, uh, in, uh, 
in, in the third quarter. It's just it, the simple stats that we're following during the game tells you that we were passing. You know, we opened the game with a turnover and they, they dunked the ball on the other side and just, you know, we, um, we have to uh, find that uh, poise and it comes with experience, but also we have to find a way to help each other and go one possession at a time. Again, we knew that, you know, that this is a good team and they're playing for something and Abil can have a bad half, but he's going to, at the end of the day, he's going to have a good game. So, you know, it just, um, um, again, um, it, I think it's, it's the main thing. We're going to watch a lot of film tomorrow and a lot of teaching points that we can share with you guys. Hi, Igor. Jason Anderson, Sacramento Bee. Um, when, at the point where, where Luke was hit with the technical fouls, was he arguing about a, a non-call on Corey at the other end of the floor? I wouldn't. Uh, no comment, really. You know, like, we'll see the as, as, as a coach is obviously, you know, Luke Walton cares about this team, cares about uh, winning, obviously, and, and, and uh, you know, his reaction is something that, you know, he, he, he tried. At that moment, he tried to, to, to help the team, and he reacted the way he reacted, no comment regarding the, the calls. Hey, Igor, Jason Jones, I've like, talked about poise. How important is it that De'Aaron can be poised on the court? I mean, it's the one thing to say it in the huddle, but to have him go out more and more as the season has progressed to show that on the court, what does that just do for the entire group and for the coaches to know that he's kind of growing into that role? We all we all forget we all forget how old, you know uh, Fox is and 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 nobody was born with experience nobody was born with that kind of he's got unbelievable talent he's one of the most gifted and talented point guards in in the world uh, he's the face of the franchise and we put a lot of on on this kid's shoulders so uh, I coached Steve Nash for six years and we had unbelievable but he was 33 years old and uh, we I can just imagine if he keeps playing and, and working on his game the way he's working right now where he's going to be in five years. So, you know, just that we are patient and he is willing to put extra work to lead this group. And, um, you know, sky's the limit for him. And we're happy just to be uh, in just opportunity to coach him.